It is the last full week of school for a lot of kids before the winter break, so we're squeezing in one more science experiment before the end of the year. So today, meteorologist Sarah Spivey and her assistant David Sears are out at James Madison Elementary School making fossils with second graders out of things that parents might have around the house already. Good morning, guys. Hi, Dave. Hi, Sarah. Good morning to you. Yeah, the second graders here at James Madison have been learning about uh, rocks. And so cool kind of rock is some fossils. So that's what we're going to do. We've got a fossil actually right here. It's actually used to be a mollusk at some point. You can see a that um, like a mollusk, like a, oh. like a shelly kind of creature. Uh, so what we're going to do in order to emulate millions of years of pressure at home, we're gonna make a, a sandwich, a gummy sandwich, pretty much. All right, so you're gonna need four pieces of bread. This is what you call a sweet experiment. A sweet experiment. Four pieces of bread, some plastic wrap, some gummy worms, some heavy books. No heels. And that's it. Yeah, try not to use the heels. So put one piece of bread here in the center, David. Great, now I want you to build some fossils in the middle okay. here. Maybe use three pieces of gummies or something. I got Swedish fish, because fish okay. make good fossils. They do? Yeah, they do. They make great fossils. Okay. All right. Okay, so once you have... Oh, one for me them. <laughs> but, and one for the bread. There you go. <laughs> I knew he was going to eat. For me he was got me kids. <laughs> and go well, ahead and put... You got a Swedish That's all right. You could do that. And you can even oh, do... Can have a Swedish yeah, why not? Okay. So, <laughs> so you're going to keep on building this until you used all four pieces of bread. Beautiful, David. Okay. And now we're going to wrap up the sandwich with plastic wrap. And then you're going to use a heavy book to apply even pressure. And go ahead and push down on that, David. This is like wrap with a W, not like wrap, like music. Yeah, not like music, exactly. I don't think we could. That's great, David. Good. David might have. Uh, is it fossilized? It's. I think it's very fossilized at this point. <laughs> okay. So now you'll have a squished up sandwich like this. David, let's open it up and see the pressure and the outlines of these gummies. Ooh, look oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, you want to make sure you don't apply too much pressure. Oh, but might, look, might, you can might, see, might. look at that indentation mm -hmm. right there. Yep. Guys, do you see how there's an indentation yeah. in the bread that's like fossils? Yeah, so cool. And what's even gr better is you just saw David do this in a short period of time here, just with the pressure of his hands in the book. But another way to do this is to slowly put pressure is just to leave books on the sandwich for about 24 hours. That'll apply slow, steady pressure. And then when you open these up, you should have a little bit more definition. But these guys, these awesome second graders have built their gummy fossil sandwiches and we're gonna see them at work after the break. <laughs> I'm <gonna do> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to GMSA in Science with Sarah. We are making gummy fossils with the wonderful second graders of James Madison Elementary. Okay, wrap up your sandwich, guys, with your plastic wrap. Wrap it up. And then once you've wrapped it up, you can push on it with your book. Here's your book. And then push on it with your book. Push it down. A little it harder than that. Awesome. Okay, great. It should kind of look pretty flat. It should look pretty flat. All right, when you're ready for us to open up your sandwich, raise your hand. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's, let's open up your sandwich and see what happens. Tell me, tell me the process again. What did you do first? First I put the bread and then I put gummy, for, first I put plastic wrap and then I put the bread and then I put gummy worms and then I put bread on top and then I put more gummy worms and then I put bread and then I put gummy worms and then I put bread. And then, put bread. <laughs> and then what did you do? And then, and then I wrapped it. And, you wrapped and, it. The, and then I put the book on top and put pressure on it. And what does that book represent? Uh, the, the pressure. Uh, it makes like a fossil. Uh -huh. Okay, well, so let's unveil it and see what it looks like. You ready? Here we go. Go ahead. Take it off and see what it looks like. Whoa. Uh, oh, look Isn't at that. that cool? Can you see that? Yeah. What do you think? I like it. It's cool. Oh, look, and on this side, too, it did an indentation. That's awesome. Good job. 
Why, did you give it up here? Yeah, it's sticking out. It's unwrapped. Oh, it's look, that'll out. be good. Let's let's, let's open that. Open let's that. see what it looks yeah, like. Mine, mine is sticking out too. Oh, yours is sticking out too. Mine is all the cable. Y'all applied millions and millions of years of pressure on these things. <laughs> in just a matter of moments. Okay, let's mine go. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, it came off smooth. Yeah, Great. so what happens when you take those off? It'll build a little fossil. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, that's wow. awesome. It looks like a plus sign. Look at that. That's so cool. All right, look at, look. Oh, wow. Look at Yours is smiling at us. It's sticky. Mine looks sticky. sticky. Smile. You got a little smile face. Yeah, it's a smile. Wow. They look cool. Okay, go to the next layer. Some of the color came through. Yeah. And some of the color came through on there? All right, let's go over to this table. Good job, cool. guys. Hey, do you guys, I want right. to see your sandwiches. Yeah, your fossils. Oh my God, look, look you can see that outline. You, you, you can almost see that color. That's so cool. Now, buddy, again, now take the piece of bread off and let's see what's under there. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> So can you imagine if that was millions and millions of years? <laughs> it would have been like really hard and kind of like really brown, you could say. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Do you guys want to see one of these sandwiches that we left for a day? Yeah. Okay, so this is what happens when you leave the sandwich for a day. Look at all the colors that get on there when you leave it for a day. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. So again, I love to, if you have the time, to leave it for a day because it makes really cool outlines. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Yeah? yeah it, right? Okay, cool. Fossil. Can you eat it? Yeah, you can eat it. He's eating it. <laughs> That's what's great, too, about this science experiment. It's totally safe and totally edible. You know, if you want to find all the Science with Sarah experiments we've done so far this fall, this winter, please do so. Go to Science with Sarah uh, on the KSAT site. How does it taste, David? Fossilized. Fossilized. Hey, thank you, everybody. Good job, guys. That's cool. Thank you, guys. Wait. Fantastic. Awesome job. And you got lunch covered. No kidding. Yeah. David's going to have white bread and gummies in his teeth at noon. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Isn't that